So a lot of the projects I started, I'm just waiting on parts to get here so I can finish them. So instead of waiting, you know, another week to upload a bunch of videos, I figured, uh, let's see if I can just build an amp out of spare parts I got laying around. So we should be able to make a guitar amp out of just what you see here. I got these LM386 chips a while back and I've really wanted to make a guitar amplifier out of them. So I did a bunch of searching on the web last night and came across a schematic for the Little Gem 2. Uh, I'll put a link for that in the description so you guys can build as well if you want to try it out. And I pretty much had everything, but I struggled to find any kind of transistor. I was lucky enough that I had an old Radio Shack shortwave radio kit that I was able to rob a piece out of. And then this old speaker that I rescued off of a job site. Who knows what this came out of? I don't know. It was sitting in some kind of basement. I don't even know if it works. Let's see if we can put this together and make some noise. Well, it just keeps getting wackier and wackier. <clears throat> so I don't have anything to plug in any power. I don't seem to have any 9 volt adapters or anything like that. So what I did is I actually had an old Behringer FCB 1010 that was uh, damaged and broken beyond repair. So I was able to pull the transformer out. I have a 9 volt regulator and a bridge rectifier from an old Radio Shack score a long, long time ago. So I should be able to put all that together. And also, I think we can reuse the IEC jack from the Behringer as well as the power switch. So I took a bandsaw and cut this part of the panel out that the jacks were mounted to. And I should be able to just put it right on this Hammond box I have mark it out trace it and I can probably drill and cut these out so they'll go in there perfect so let's give that a shot All right, that's not too bad. God damn it. Well, I kind of got a little bit more involved than I wanted to. I found this Hammond box that I had and I went ahead and mounted all the components inside. And now we got to see if I can fit my circuit board in there, which I haven't made up yet. I was hoping to test it all before I got this far. I really was just going to make something. I was just going to throw in whatever I had laying around. And while this was technically laying around, this is becoming more or less a real amp build. Just getting started here. I got my uh, input load resistor here and the transistor rolling. Just trying to get a feel for it. I've had to modify the circuit quite a bit to get the controls I want out of it. So I'm like, I wanted a buffer. I wanted it to be a, a bridged LM386 amplifier, but the little gem two doesn't have those controls on it. So we're going to have to change up where we put them. We're going to have to fucking fuck off. Got my circuit board done. Are right, you going to plug this thing in and fucking kill ourselves yet? Oh shit. Well, I'm going to 
got mods here for asymmetrical clipping. It's a bit of a rat's nest. I had some trouble with the smoothing from the power section, but hey, now it's working. I had two C1815 transistors. No matter what I did, I could not get any of them to work. I did manage to get the amplifier working good. I think with a few more modifications, we could have done a little bit more, but I'm kind of just giving up at this point. So now it's time to hear how the amp sounds. Plugged up, I got it mic'd up with an SM57 on a uh, Celestion G12 T75, and it doesn't sound bad at all. Interestingly enough, you saw how I stuck it in a plastic box. I would not recommend that because every time I get my cell phone near it, it starts to make bleep, 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 bleeping noises. But I digress. I made this just as kind of like an afternoon project and just to see what it would sound like. <laughs> So that is with the, I guess the volume, the gain knob, pretty down, pretty low. And mind you, it's driving a full four by 12. crank it up a little bit. And you can still clean it up with the guitar volume too. single coil here now you can start to hear it now some of the problem I have with this design is that I wasn't able to do an input buffer. None of the uh, transistors I had were working. And this is also more like a bridged stereo power amplifier using the two IC chips or the, the two LM386s. It just makes it more difficult to control because you pretty much should be doubling all the controls. So the payoff, I don't think was worth it to use this kind of design. Uh, I should have just used a single chip and then I would have been able to actually have more tone controls and more volume controls or just more overall control over the tone rather than it was really difficult to get it in the other way it was. But you can also hear this distorted overtone. It's, it's an out of tune harmonic. But if you don't want it, you know, obviously. Just turn the gain down a little bit. But anyway, I gained the ever-loving shit out of this thing.
tone knob down, we can get some gnarly shit. Let's just turn everything up all the way to... I think that sounds pretty cool. So does it doom? Yes. Does it rock? No. I would do a different design with a little bit less gain and more clean headroom. Well, that's it. There you go. There's a one watt amp you can build in an afternoon. I would totally recommend against using a bridge circuit like that. I don't think the volume is worth the trade off of the tone, but there's a lot of other shit you can do with that chip. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.